Right, Stuart, the only brand new information today was the descending extended scale from E5. Eight, seven, six, five, five, six. In the minor, you have to flatten six and seven. Eight, flat seven, flat six, five. And same down up articulation. Okay, um, your major blues sound good. Continue working on them and let's get them one note at a time. And right from the outset, knowing where your fingers go for that major blues, just one open string, the open E. And on the minor, make sure you're starting with your ring finger at the third fret so that everything else lines up. Okay, we reviewed parallel thirds. We did them broken. Them with slides between two and three and four and five. And then we made them universal by shifting them to different keys. So this is A. Okay, up and down. This is D, D5. And G5. So that's a G root, and you can also break these up. Now for Fourth of July. Put the capo on first, do it with a real strong hand so there's no bending of the strings, and get it as straight as you possibly can. Look at it in a mirror if you have to. Then tune using your open D, and your gauge. And what did we change? On the walk down, you're just doing you're from a three finger G, and you're just going to go, you're going to go up. Make sure that you're using a normal D shape, just sans middle finger, so that you don't have extra things to think about every time you go to the D. Just go to D in your mind. Make sure you're doing all six, all the way to the six. And we modify the intro so that you just shift your first finger to the A string and middle finger on the G string. the right thing by using the little finger for the A chord move. Work the first half like this, a bunch, then try to work the second half only, and put it together. When you go to that G string, G chord, make sure the ring finger is in the lead. It's the most important tone. This can linger behind a moment, so... And going back to a normal D shape. Those are the modifications, and then when you get to that chorus, use all six strings on the D, and then spend a lot of time, Stuart, just D to B minor. You really got to internalize this shift. It's not an easy one, and then just get a nice strong rhythm. Doing what you do, which is just shifting to that next chord, it doesn't have to be perfect, especially on the D. You have all the open notes to kind of catch you. Hey, there he is. 